वेलकम बैक टू माई चैनल इंग्लिश फॉर लर्नर्स टूडे आई एम सो एक्साइटेड बिकॉज यू आर रिस्पॉन्डिंग पॉजिटिवली थैंक यू वन मोर थिंग लास्ट लेक्चर वी ऑलरेडी स्टार्टेड अबाउट हाउ टू राइट लेटर एंड इन दैट लेटर राइटिंग वी ऑलरेडी कंप्लीटेड पार्ट वन and that was formal letter and i have told you letter have two types formal letter and informal letter today we are going to start part 2 and that is informal letter so today we are going to learn how to write an informal letter friends informal letter are those letters which are lit written to our close persons which is written to our friends relatives etc while writing in formal letter we have to use very simple language easy words and simple sentences and then see the letter will be very effective when we are writing informal letter we we write it for some personal cause or reasons for example letter to your school teacher or teacher in that letter we can thank him because of him we are uh, have a great subsets one more topic for letter writing is that inviting your friend in your brother's marriage or suggesting the benefits of bank account to your younger brother one more topic we can use when we are writing informal letter that is suggesting the advantages of using internet banking mobile banking to your friends etc all these are the topics for writing informal letter in short i would like to tell you the topic or the subject of informal letters are letter to invite someone or on some occasions or letters to show a concern regarding for something another topic to suggest someone for the advantages of something or to motivate or inspire someone so all these are the subjects or the topics for writing informal letter so let's see how to write informal letter i shall give you the format okay now we shall see the format and some of the tips of writing informal letter now before going to see the format first of all see the tips of writing informal letter when we are writing informal letter that time we we can use idioms for close expressions you can use imperative sentence means sentence that start with verb for example do your homework the sentence start with verb do help your mother etc so when informal language we have to use here again you can use exclamation symbol example wow yes like this and one more thing we have to keep in our mind that is avoid the strong words in the 
informal letter. Not in official words or formal words like this. So, these tips we have to keep in our mind. Now, we shall see the format. This is the standard format. Suppose this is your page. Okay. So, first of all, we have to write here a writer's address. Writer's address is given here. So, earlier, one more format is there. This address we can write the right corner of the page. No problem, that format also can be used. But better is that a new method, in the new way, standard way we can say first write a uh, writer's address. So all these texts should be in a left margin, like this. All these texts are in the left margin. Address is like this. So, Joy Apartment, comma, MG Road, comma. When address is completed, there you have to put a full stop. Okay. Suppose name is there, then you can put a full stop. After that, you have to put only comma. At the end of the address, we have to put a full stop. So all these words should be in a <coughs> proper line. Then your address should be looks effective. <coughs> Under the address, at the same level, you have to write a date. Date should be written in first day, month and year. For example, 15th Feb 2007, date, month and year. The same date we can write as like 15 2007. So in this way, we can write date. Okay. Now I think you are clear here how to write date under the writer's address. Now we have to start here our writing. Letter writing. First one is salutation. Salutation means letter opens with greeting. A beginning of the letter we can say. For example, salutation can start, hi, like this, hello, then dear friend, dear mom, dear aunt, like this, or loving, etc. So, this is the opening greeting or the beginning and that is called salutation. Then, we have to put here a comma and after that, there is a main part of the letter that is the body of the letter. And I have divided this body of the letter into three parts. Introduction part, main body of the letter and ending body of the letter. First of all, we shall see the introduction. What should write in the introductive part? In this introduction, this paragraph must be of five sentences. Minimum, you have to write a paragraph of five sentences. Okay. And one more thing we have to keep in mind: interacting. So, when what we should write here? There is an interaction. Means a discussion. Discussion about a previous discussion in last letter. You have returned or received. So, whatever the subject you have discussed earlier, we can introduce here. Suppose you are writing to your a close friend, right? So, here you can discuss about your childhood memories which you uh, 
house spent with him. Right. One more thing we can write here. You how to start like a responsible and caring person. How you are responsible and caring person. For example, if you are writing to your mother, grandparents, right? So that time, you have to introduce here, you are so caring person, so responsible person. So all these things, within a five sentence, you can write in this body part of the letter, that is called introduction part. And after that, there is a main body of the letter. And what we have to write here? We can have one or two paragraph. We can make here one or two paragraph. What we have to write here? Let's see. Okay. Body of the informal letter. Just I have told you. Here we can have one or two paragraph. And what we have to write here? Now this point. This must have in this paragraph explanation of topic we have to explain in detail second point why you have chosen that person you talk about this topic you have to clear there very simply and easily and most important is that you can use a figurative language informal language why because that will be fresh in your discussion then there will be an attachment between you and other person. So figurative language and we can use here. One more thing is that you can write either one or two paragraph here in this body of the letter. Okay. So next point is that ending. How we can end? Here, we have to keep in our mind, this must have conclusion that can your receiver also about topic. Now we are at the end of the letter. Conclusion should be there. You can suggest further discussion about similar topic. So, you can explain there. I would like to talk more in the next time the next visit or i can write in next letter you can mention there then how should we end or conclude you can invite for one or one discussion so it is very informally in friendly letter we invite about person okay so, conclusion or ending is very simple, okay? And uh, last point of the letter is that, okay, now just I was uh, telling you about the ending and the greetings of the letter. So, here you can end your letter by writing your loving. You are lovely, yours lovingly, or yours only. So, in this way, we can finish our informal letter. Right? So, I sure you like my video. If you want to know more information regarding writing skill, you watch my videos and have a good day. Thank you very much.